today we we making history. What we're gonna do today was it has never been done before. I think we'll be eating too easily. <laughs> it's not gonna be fair. Right. Walkers against wheelchair guys. I think we've got the advantage. I suppose just watch your feet and watch your ankles. They are the world champions, but tell, we're the African champions. They're in our territory. They're running. We're in wheelchairs. Watch for their ankles. Watch for their shins. Yeah, bring your gum guards. Certainly, when you take a first glance at it, it does look a little bit unbalanced, doesn't it? It's a unique uh, situation that I think everyone's looking forward to. To be honest, I'm a bit nervous. A little bit of butterflies in the stomach. I'm a little bit worried, I'm a little bit excited, but it's crazy. I think these guys are going to kill us. Yeah, pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to taking the guys on. Like we, we definitely got the height advantage on our side, so if we keep the ball in the air, give it to guys like Victor and Bucky, it should do well. Well, you know, at the end of the day, it's still a competition. It's still uh, something where the guys all want to be competitive. So I'll be interested to see what the kind of skill level is with a round ball rather than an oval shaped ball. No, I'm going flat out. So it's probably Bucky's will take it easy. Going onto the court today to give it 100%. No, we're actually very competitive. So I think we're going to approach this like any any rugby test match. Hopefully that will help them out in, in preparation for, for Beijing. No, they'll probably take it easy on us. So. Absolutely not. Every game you give it your all. We'll go all out. Score more baskets than them. Score more baskets than them. I score more baskets than they do. If you can't get around them, go through them. I think the strategy will be to try and keep some kind of pride within our camp. Between Bucky's and Victor, hopefully they uh, can get to the slam dunk. I think we're just going to give the ball to Victor Matthew. Me and Victor did uh, sit together and worked out the strategies. I think uh, to be anywhere near them or uh, let alone on the court of them, it's a, it's a huge privilege and an honor for us. Yeah. Once people see us with the spring box, it's going to draw a lot of attention. We feel very honored to be here. Someone like Cecil, you know, who, who's been backing them for the last couple of years, to, to bring us in and, and help with this initiative is, is really great of, of them as a sponsor. And like I say, it's a, you know, it totally goes a long way in, you know, in, the, in the relationship between South Africa and the Paralympic wheelchair team. I thought it'd be a lot easier. Ah, oh, um, it was okay. I think they tried their best, but you know, in the end, we just showed them that uh, basketball is different than rugby. Bunch of goals, but they're not. <laughs> I think I expected them to shoot a little bit better. Their control of the ball was pretty good, but that's to be expected as they their sport is so involved running around with an egg. Just, just beautiful to watch and be part of, of, of what was happening today. To be honest, it was quite tough out there, you know. A bit disappointed with Buck, he's couldn't shoot any uh, hoops. They're definitely, you know, making their, their disadvantage advantage. I think they're unbelievable great blokes off the, you know, off the court, you know, very humble down to earth, you know, very, you know, very easy to talk to. I think their skill level on the court has been something amazing for each and every one of us to experience. I don't think we knew what quite to expect, but, uh, you know, when they came at us and they had some good phases put together and they popped passed in between each other and straight through our legs and into the into the hoop, we certainly realised that these guys know what they're doing. Absolutely, I think we've been preparing for, for over two years now. We've, we've put in a lot of hard work and um, trained a lot, so we're definitely looking forward to it. So um, they're committed, they're competitive and uh, you know they I know for a fact that these guys are going to go there to be as competitive as they possibly can be for South Africa. Yeah, they've proved today that athletes are the athletes and you know we can't discourage you know, any one of them and then hopefully they'll inspire you like they've inspired me.